Hey Bobcats! Today I'm going to show you how to add dimensions to your multi-view sketch. I'm going to have you turn in your uh, Project Lead the Way notebooks to the multi-view sketch that you created of this figure. Once you're there, I'm going to walk you through how we're going to use our ruler to measure and dimension this piece. So let's start by looking at the top view. Okay, so I'm gonna set my piece so that you can see the top view. And then I'm gonna show you how we're gonna use the ruler and where to put these measurements on your multi-view sketch. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna measure from one end to the other. So I'm gonna start here, I'm gonna create a line. And the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna measure this piece. I'm gonna go from the bottom up. So we need to find this measurement and this measurement. Okay. So when you're adding dimensions to a multi-view sketch, we start at one end and we measure every time there is a plane change. So for instance, this right here is on a plane and then this right here is on a plane. So we measure from the bottom and we measure this distance and then we measure the whole distance from the bottom all the way to the top. Okay, so I'm gonna hold my ruler. I'm gonna make sure that my zero is lined up on the edge of my cube. And that is three out of four for the markings, which means that that is three fourths of an inch. So I'm gonna write three fourths, and I'm gonna put a little double hash mark, that means inches. Now I'm gonna measure all the way from the bottom to the, to the top of our figure. I'm gonna to come to this side, it'll be easier to see from there. Okay, if you can see, let me line it up really well. Okay, my, it's hard to see on the camera. It looks like I'm not lined up well, but I am. Okay, I've started at zero, and you can see that my, it goes to the one, and then halfway past the one. So that means this is one and one half inches. Okay, so for the top view, your dimensions always go on the right side. For the front view, your measurements are gonna go across the top. So let's turn this. So we've measured this length and the full length from here to here. Now we're gonna turn it and we're gonna measure this length from here to here and the full length from here to here. Okay, so I'm gonna set this down And we're gonna go from the left to the right. So I'm gonna do a longer line here. So we're gonna go from here to here. And then we're gonna create a line that goes all the way up just so that we can see exactly where that measurement goes from here to there, okay? So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna measure this right here, I'm gonna start at zero. Okay, now if you can see that, it's kind of hard to see, it goes from, it goes to three fourths. I'm sure you're catching on by now that these cubes are three fourths of an inch by three fourths of an inch by three fourths of an inch. Okay, now we're gonna measure the whole distance from this left side here all the way over to the right side. I'm gonna use this measurement right here start at zero. Now, these are three-fourths of an inch, and if you know your fraction math, three-fourths plus three-fourths is one-half. Now, this is a little bit off just because it's, um, I mean, there's space between those cubes. I can't seem to get them close enough, but this should be one and one-half inches. So, I'm going to add this dimension right here, one and one-half inches. So, top view, the dimensions go on the right side. Front view, the dimensions go on the top. Then we're gonna put it in right view. And for right view, the measurements go on the left side. 
And we're going to start from the bottom here. First, we're going to measure this distance from here to here. I want you to set it up exactly how I'm setting it up with the little arrows and everything to show that it is the distance between those two lines that are associated with the top and the bottom of this figure. Okay, so here's my figure. I'm gonna start by measuring this right here. I know it's gonna be shocking to you. This is 3 fourths of an inch. So I'm gonna write 3 fourths of an inch. Don't forget that double hash mark means inches. And now I need the measurement from the bottom all the way to the top. So I'm gonna use this part right here. So from zero to, now this is not gonna be exact. I'm gonna help you out with the fraction math here. This looks like it's two and three eighths, okay, but if each of these, if we assume that each of these is three-fourths, then we have three-fourths, one and a half, and then two and one-fourth. So this measurement right here should be two and one-fourth inches. Okay. So there you have it. We have added dimensions to our multi-view sketch. So now when you're asked to create a multi-view sketch with dimensions, this is what we're asking for. Please make sure to set it up exactly how I have. Make sure that you're measuring from one side of the object all the way across, from one side of the object and then across, from one side of the object and across, and that for the top view, the measurements are on the right side, front view is on the top, and right, right view, the measurements are on the left. The reason we do that I'm gonna just do this lightly in pencil, is these measurements are also those measurements. And we, when we put them between the figures, we can say that this measurement, three-fourths of an inch, is associated with this measurement, three-fourths of an inch. This measurement, one and a half inches, is associated with this measurement, one and a half inches. Same thing here. If I lightly in pencil go across, you can see that this two and one fourth inches is associated with this length right here. It's the same length. And then this three fourths of an inch, if we go all the way across, this is associated with this length right here. All right, so now what you're gonna do is you are going to take that figure that you also created a multi-view sketch of that looks like this, and you are gonna add dimensions to that. So please, when you're done creating, when you're done adding dimensions to this figure, I want you to click on, um, on the image that I have attached in your slide to make sure that you've done it correctly. All right, Bobcats, have a wonderful day.